And for more on this, uh, we are being joined by Mr. Hari Shesha Sai, advisor to uh, the Foreign Minister of Panama and Asia Latin America specialist for the United Nations Development Program. He's live with us from Mumbai. Welcome to the broadcast. Sir. Let me start off with the first question. Can Venezuela fill the gap in oil supply left by Russia and the ongoing West Asia tensions? Hi, thanks for having me. Um, to be honest, I don't think so. Um, Venezuelan oil production today stands at less than 1% of global oil production. That's mm. a very small amount. Um, as you mentioned uh, just now, although Venezuelan oil exports to India may reach about 50,000 barrels per day of oil now, that's a very small amount. Um, India's total oil imports are about 4 million barrels per day of oil per year. And 50,000 is you know, a very small fraction of that. And I'll tell you what has happened though. Hmm. A lot of the oil production that uh, India used to get from Venezuela in the past, as you said, from 2017 to 2020, has been replaced, in fact, by the United States. So today, India buys a lot more oil from the US, which hmm. started exporting oil only a few years ago. Then it buys from uh, two sanctioned countries, Venezuela and Iran. India stopped buying oil from Venezuela and Iran in 2019 from uh, Iran and 2020 from Venezuela. So I, in short, yeah. I don't think uh, Venezuela's oil production can replace the gap in the market. Mm. I think there's still a far way from that. Mm. Uh, in its heyday, in the early 2000s, Venezuela would produce about 3 million barrels of oil per day. Mm. And that is about, let's say, 3 to 4% at that time of global oil production, which is a sizable amount. Today, it's less than one third of that. Mr. Hari, and I also wanted to get your perspective on a more global scale. What does the lifting of oil sanctions mean for the Venezuelan economy and the larger oil market in the world then? See, the oil sanctions that were put in place by the US mm. basically meant a lot of Venezuelan oil that used to go to the US earlier instead went in 2019, in fact, India was the world's largest buyer of Venezuelan oil in the entire world and more than China, right? Mm. 2020, 2021 and 2022, most of the Venezuelan oil that has been exported has gone to China. So now with the lifting of sanctions, what has happened is instead of that oil going to China, it's going to go mostly to the US. And the lifting of sanctions is also not complete it's partial. Mm. That means only under certain conditions and to certain countries and certain companies can uh, the oil be exported without sanctions, right? So most of that oil export from Venezuela today is going to companies like Chevron uh, in the US. So it's just a shift of supply. Instead of the Venezuelan oil going to China mm. or Malaysia, which used to import the oil refine it and then export it to other countries, mm. um, it will now go to the US. All right, Mr. Hari Shesha Sai, thank you so much for joining us on World Business Watch, sharing all your insights on this. Thank you.